Hi guys, my name is Blair Gentle and welcome to a tour of 10 new architect homes that have become available in Sims Free Play. I think they came out around the 20th of May 2017. That's the first time I noticed them anyway. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you are new to the channel. But let's go ahead and start a tour of the first house. So this first house could be built on a standard sized lot. And let's have a little look. It's two floors. Oh, it's a nice build. It's got a basement. Oh, I like this. Look at this. This is a nice... Oh, look, it's got some of the Christmas wallpaper. That's cute. What have we got? Have we got anything rare or worth LPs or anything? I don't think so, particularly. If you can hear any background noise, I do apologise. I'm sat by the pool. In Singapore, if you've been watching these videos, you'll know it's the only place I've ever called at the moment, and it's a bit of a nightmare, but I'm trying my best. These designer doors, I think they're worth something like one LP each, possibly. It's got some of the spa stuff there. That's nice. Here's the second house that we can build. Wow, and this is, as you can see, a premium sized lot. I love the pools leading up to this. Look at that. I imagine they're like fountains, possibly. And is oh no, just one floor. You walk in with this huge lounge area, and it's all very white, isn't it? Oh, it's got a little pool out the back. I like this. This is really cute. It's got nothing rare or LP worthy, but it is a nice build. I feel like I'm like that's a nice build to have and expand on. Maybe make some extra floors on it. That's really nice. Here's the third house, and again, this is a premium sized house. It's just got a big garden at the back here and a pool. So, um, what have we got? Downstairs. I mean, it's all very simple actually. Very simply decorated. It's nice though, little patio areas out there. Let's go up. And a little bedroom. Oh, that's really sweet. Look at that. It's a really simple, nice cute little build I like that here's the fourth house this could be built on a standard size lot you don't need a premium lot obviously it'd be cheaper to build it on a standard and it's got two pools out the front here we've got a spa opening and inside lots of spa doors actually are these stools possibly not available in the game at the moment I'm not sure I don't think they are and like if you haven't got the Serenity Reigns, if you weren't playing the game or whatever when we did the spa event, you might want to build it for that, possibly. Nice little build. It's got no windows at the sides, though. <laughs> Here is the fifth house and a standard size, and it's got two floors. I like this, the look of this. Look at that. I never really used these railings, but they look quite cool, actually. Let's take a look at the first floor. So we've got three different entrances. Is it like three different apartments? I think it is. Yeah, look, there's three different houses. I think they're all exactly, more or less exactly the same, they look like. like this has got like the cheap, nasty furniture in these houses. Oh, yeah, it really has. Wow, it speaks each one. See, seats, sleeps, um, five sims. And one little bathroom between everyone is there. Oh, there's a little toilet downstairs. They've really crammed a lot into that space. I like the build. Actually, that, yeah, it's really cool. Here's the sixth house, and this is a standard size again. We've got a basement, have we? Yes, we have a basement. And, ooh. An ice bath in this basement and some of the blue onion furniture and some sci-fi kitchen stuff. First floor. I like this. I like this back room. Open plan living area. Like the office is there. And the lounge area here. I like that with Sidity Reigns in the middle. That's cute. And we've got an upstairs, have we? Yep, yeah, we've got an upstairs with a couple of bedrooms. This is a really nice house. I like how it's been decorated. I don't think there's any kind of... Oh, I've got another, oh, I've got another floor. I was about to quit then, but no, got more. It's like the master master suite upstairs. Oh, they have like a little walk-in sauna in the master bedroom. 
this is nice. In fact, yeah, look at this. is all like the back, the top of the floor is all like mum and dad's stuff. And they've got their own bathroom with like a double bath, a sauna, a big walk-in wardrobe, balcony. That's nice. I like that build. Here's the seventh house and oh my goodness, it's a big one. Nice pool area at the back. I feel like, did I miss the memo that these uh, architect homes are like family homes or something? I feel like that's what they all are. But I, I don't know. I don't know whether that was supposed to be the theme or what. So we've got some designer doors in this again. All nice furniture downstairs, actually. Let's go up. Oh, I was going to say let's go up, but there is no up. There's no bedrooms. Oh, yeah, there is. Right at the front here. There is. I like the way how they've done like the little porch area. That's nice. Here's the ninth house, and this is a standard size lot. Oh, already I can spot a Latin uh, bar out there and a Latin barbecue, which is nice. We've got, oh, I like how they've used the rugs outside. That's all quite kind of new. I've not seen those rugs used in that manner before. Nice furniture, and we've got, no, we haven't got a basement. I thought we had a basement then. Nothing worth, there's nothing in any of these houses actually worth any LP or anything particularly. But, oh, we've got another, up. wow, okay. There is some of the Latin furniture in this though, and we've got a blue, is that blue or is that purple? I can't really see because the sun is shining very bright here in Singapore, and I can't really see, I think that's purple, isn't it? This is a nice build again, whoa, on another floor, wow. I like this. I may build this. I don't really know why, because it doesn't really have anything. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Here's the tenth house, which can be built on a standard size lot. And it's got like a lot of the French furniture in. So if you miss the French chateau, the French event, whatever it was called, I can't quite remember what it was called. But if you miss that, you can get quite a lot of the furniture with this house here. And has it got an upstairs? Yeah, it has got an upstairs. Yeah, definitely. If you missed the French event, this is the house to build because you get quite a lot of the French furniture with it. And here is the last house, which is built on a standard size lot. And what have we got? Anything? Got a lot of furniture, it seems. Wow, what's this like? What is this room here? There's like <laughs> three toilets. Three showers, a sofa, that's just odd, an odd, odd view, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's head, oh there's a downstairs, oh it's kind of not really finished, get some exercise bikes, um, and then let's go up, there's nothing there's some nice furniture in here and it's from certain events that if you didn't get you might want to like the spa event or the urban furniture maybe or the French event but there's nothing nothing that special particularly whoa there's a lot of furniture though I don't really understand what this place is to be quite honest look at that huge suite there that's nice is it maybe like a hotel or something I've no idea Whoa, and then upstairs is, wow, there is so much to this build. There's a nice little balcony area out here. Whoa, it still goes on. Upstairs again. Oh, look, the fondue set and the bar. The fondue set is worth quite a few LPs. Or SPs, is it? SPs, I think. Is it something crazy? Like 150, possibly. Or it could just be nothing like that, and I've completely made it up. Wow, that's a, I might build that house. It's got some SP, no, has it got SP windows? Yeah, it's got a couple of SP windows. I might build that one, actually. It is a pretty one. So there you go, that is a tour of our current 11 architect homes. I really want a timer on this. I think maybe some people don't know themselves, that's why they're not giving us a timer. But I really love a timer so we know when these architect homes are going and when we're getting new ones, just so we know how long we have to build them before they disappear. But we'll see if we ever get that. Thank you so much for watching, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!